Today on Rappler. The Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry joins business groups in criticizing the Maharlika Wealth Fund. A soji anti-discrimination bill hurdles the Senate panel. Higher electricity rates loom as San Miguel ends its deal with Moralco. Hothead John Amores gets a kind letter from Vice President Sara Duterte. The Avatar sequel premieres 13 years after the original. Royals Prince Harry and Meghan receive the Ripple of Hope Human Rights Award. And GOT7's Bam Bam, Sunmi, and Pink Sweats headline a music festival in Cebu. The Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, or PCCI, joins other major business groups in criticizing the proposed Maharlika Wealth Fund, or MWF. In an interview with CNN Philippines, PCCI President George Barcelon urges the government to take its time in studying the fund and assessing its benefits. The proposed Maharlika Fund would pool 275 billion pesos from government pension funds and banks, as well as the national budget for investments in big-ticket national development projects and other assets. But concerned groups and economists say it may endanger pensioners. Others point to its lack of safeguards. In a separate interview with ANC, Barcelona says rushing to set up a sovereign wealth fund now may worsen the country's economy given market conditions and 14-year high inflation. The PCCI had supported the creation of the Maharlika Fund but backtracked after top business groups issued a joint statement opposing the proposed fund. The groups urged the government to focus its revenues toward managing debts and maintaining the Philippines' credit rating. A Senate panel passes a bill seeking to punish discrimination against persons based on their sexual orientation, gender identity and expression, and sex characteristics or SOGSC. The bill's sponsor, Philippine Senator Risa Ontiveros, says 19 out of 24 senators signed the committee report on Tuesday, December 6. The bill would make it illegal to deprive someone of an employment opportunity because they are gay or deny a person access to emergency health services because of their gender expression. Penalties include fines of hundreds of thousands of pesos. Soji bill critics say the bill may infringe on parental authority to raise their children or schools' independence to discipline their students. But the bill explicitly states nothing in the law should be interpreted to disturb the exercise of parental authority or academic freedom. Over in the House of Representatives, Manila Representative Bienvenido Abante Jr. filed a bill seeking to protect the rights of heterosexuals, drawing strong reaction from gender rights advocates. San Miguel Corporation's power subsidiary terminates its power supply agreement with electricity distributor Meralco. This is due to losses caused by higher fuel costs. SMGP's move would mean that Meralco would have to source 670 megawatts from the open market, which has higher rates and price fluctuations. In a statement on Wednesday, December 7, Meralco says it is negotiating with other generation companies to secure the 670 megawatts and shield its customers against potentially higher prices in the wholesale electricity spot market. San Miguel President Ramon Ang said that they did not want to have to terminate the power supply agreement, but the Energy Regulatory Commission, or ERC, denied their petition for a temporary power hike due to rising fuel prices globally. In a statement, consumer group Power for People Coalition says they expected San Miguel to terminate the deal with Meralco, saying SMC continues to gaslight the ERC. Vice President Sara Duterte writes a letter to embattled former Jose Rizal University player John Amores. In the letter, Duterte says, Remember the lesson, not the mistake. You have a friend from the office of the vice president. Amores posts on Instagram saying it's his pleasure receiving this kind of gesture from the vice president. Amores was kicked out of the JRU athletics program and indefinitely suspended by the NCAA for assaulting four College of St. Benil players. Like Amores, Duterte had her own infamous punching incident when she assaulted a Davao court sheriff over an urban port demolition back in 2011 when she was still Davao city mayor. After 13 years, director James Cameron releases the long-awaited sequel to Avatar. Avatar The Way of Water takes audiences back to the enchanting world of Pandora. Set more than a decade later, The Way of Water sees actor Sam Worthington and Zoe Saldana return as Jake Sully and Neytiri, now parents of five children. 
Sigourney Weaver plays Kiri, Nitiri, and Sully's adopted daughter. Her biological mother is Dr. Grace Augustine, who Weaver played in the original movie. Released in 2009, Avatar ranks as the top grossing film of all time, with more than $2.9 billion in global ticket sales. Four Avatar movies are planned through 2028. Britain's Prince Harry and wife Meghan accept a Human Rights Award at a Ripple of Hope Gala in New York, where they were honored for addressing racial injustice and mental health. The British Royals received the award from the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Foundation, which honors leaders who've shown an unwavering commitment to social change. The Telegraph reports Kerry Kennedy, president of the foundation, says the couple has been incredibly brave to talk about their experience of racial injustice and mental illness. The organization also honors Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky. In a statement, Meghan and Harry say a ripple of hope can turn into a wave of change. The award comes days before the release of the much-anticipated Netflix documentary series about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. GOT7 member Bam Bam is reportedly part of the lineup for the Wavy Baby Music Festival happening in Cebu on January 13 and 14, 2023. The festival is organized by Filipino actor James Reed's label Careless Music. In a report from Billboard, Bam Bam will be joining South Korean singer Sunmi and American R&B singer Pink Sweats as the music festival's final headliner. Careless Music's official accounts have yet to confirm Bam Bam's inclusion in the lineup, but Bam Bam has since shared the exclusive report on his personal account. The two-day music festival coincides with the annual Sinulug Festival in Cebu, which is set to make its return as an in-person event in 2023. Other international artists included in the lineup are American singer Destiny Rogers and South Korean band The Rose. Meanwhile, local acts include Ben & Ben, December Avenue, Franco, and Urban Dub. And that's today's wrap. I'm Ryan Macasero. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.